Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. I should have vlogged yesterday when I looked more decent than this. Um, but I just got past that I wanted to show you guys because I kind of wanted to do like my first impressions on camera because I've ordered some new skim stuff but I've ordered from a different collection. Then I'm going to show you a couple of other purchases that I got on the weekends. But yeah, let's open this up and see what it's like. So I've got three items. Oh, look at the brightness. So basically I'll start with this one because I don't know if I told you guys, but when I went to Poland, I wore my Fits Everybody Fin Strapped Bodysuit, which is this in a second. And one of the poppers broke. Anyway, so I got it from Harrods and I said to him like, oh, it's broken, I'm gonna need another one. Or like, can you replace it, blah, blah. So they said, send it back. We'll um, get in touch with the manufacturer, AKA Skims, and see like what can be done. But as soon as it was returned and they got it, the same day I got refunded, but they refunded me 126 pounds. So they refunded me for two of the bodysuits I bought. Um, obviously that's a mistake on their part, but I'm not letting them know, you know? So I thought, oh, why not? I'll treat myself. So I bought another one because obviously I absolutely live in this one and I need it. So that will be good. Yeah, that's the 2X. And then they released their Neon collection. And this is from the Essential range. And I haven't tried anything from there, but, oh, oh, I'm not sure how I feel about the material, guys. Oh, that is weird. It's like scuba material. It's like got like the raw neckline. This is, I thought this was gonna be thicker so that it wouldn't be see-through. Okay, it's not really see-through unless you really stretch it. This looks quite small. I got a 2X, 3X, so I need to try them on and see what they're like. Um, I got different styles because I wasn't sure. No, they didn't have that green one in the fin strap. So I don't know what I picked up. Or did I pick up the same? I think I might have picked up the same. Oh no, I picked this one up in the high neck, short sleeved. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about the material. Like this material is just like barely there, really soft, comfortable. But people really rave about this material, so. We will see. I will try them on and give you guys a little show. And then I can also show you the other purchases that I got as well. One of the things that I wanted to show you <laughs> was my new cooler bag that I got from TK Maxx. Now, I know you're probably thinking, what the hell, it's so random. But it's on wheels, so you can roll it. Because the amount of times me and my mum and sister, we used to go places, like for picnics or the beach, and you know you're lugging everything around. Well, now I've got one on wheels. So, yeah, it was £20. It's nice and big front pockets, side pockets, and yeah, Sprout picked the lemon ones and my mum got the nice blue one, which I originally picked, but then Sprout was like, I don't like that, it's boring. But she likes this kind of stuff and they had pineapples, but the pineapples was white, so I thought I don't wanna get it like super dirty. So I got that, I thought that was quite cool. And then I have to go get it, which I'm actually quite annoyed about because do you guys remember when I was doing the bedroom and my mirror broke and I got a 20 pound gift voucher from Marks and Spencers, but I totally forgot that I even had it, so I could have used it on this, because this was £22, so it's like a really nice waffle material. It's literally just like a dressing gown, like I just wanted a thin, put you guys down. It feels weird, like, because I'm not used to wearing stuff like this. But yeah, it's literally just a dressing gown. But like I said, it was £22, I could have used, I got an extra large, because it's actually a good size and it's nice and oversized. Um, but yeah, I could have used my voucher, which I'm really annoyed about. And then also I took out pet insurance with Marks and Spencers and they give you a £50 voucher and then I also got £8 cash back, so that was quite good. So I'm literally spending nothing for the year. And then I did this on like the 2nd of March, at the start of March, and I still hadn't received a voucher. So I emailed them the next day the letters turn up, but I've got two letters from them. So I've got two £50 vouchers, so I've got £100 total. And I checked them, the numbers are different on the barcodes on all the vouchers, so it's not a duplicate. It's got £100 to spend. So now I've got £120 to spend on Marks and Spencers, and I don't really ever shop in there, so I'm gonna give my mum a voucher, I think, because she helped me with the garden, obviously. But yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna try on those Skims pieces. Well, guys, as you can see, I'm not wearing the pieces because I just don't like them. I can't even get the green one done up, like it physically will not do up, and I think that is why I always stick to what I know. And I, hate buying from Skims because now I'm gonna have to send it back and I'm gonna have to pay like some ridiculous price in postage to send them back. But yeah, they're gonna have to go back. But I didn't even bother trying on the orange because I just thought it's not gonna go. They've got them in a two, three X and yeah, they just don't fit and they're just not, they're just, I just don't like the material. 
So I will not be trying anything from that collection again. So yeah, now I've got to send them back, which is going to be fun. Good morning, guys. So I thought I would show you guys what I picked up in sort of our mini food shop because I went to the food warehouse, which is like Iceland. Oh, and then I went to Home Bargains and I went to Jolly's. I think that's how you say it, like a pet shop. So just thought I'd show you what I got because I need to as the latest. So I'm going to get like the fruit and veg there because it's a lot cheaper. Starting off with, I stocked up on my pineapple and coconut juice because... I haven't had it in a long time and obviously it's like pina colada so that was like three for three pound and then before Bernard drinks all my Dr Peppers I've splurged and got him Coca-Cola I tend not to buy Coke or Pepsi because it's just ridiculously expensive um so yeah I've got some pears because I'm really into pears at the moment oh I've got some huge ketchup some fabric softener and then I did get Bernard some with his favourite Lucas egg drink. I really love having these in my toilet and I ran out and I was like annoyed because I like having something in there. I'll we'll start off with this stuff. I've got some kind of like Doritos but they're from a brand called Chiquitos and then I've got some cinnamon buns which are a bit squished now. And then what else I get? Oh, dumpling mix. Smash because Bernard loves that. And then I've got some bits for the babies, which whenever I go out, I always get them stuff. It's literally all I think about. My babies are my life. I can't go anywhere and not buy anything for them. So I've got them some of this Nature's Menu um, chicken and like with broth, because I want to kind of change it up and so that they don't become like super fussy or anything, because they are kind of like fussy as it is. And then I've got these twister sticks, which are chicken ones, and they're quite big, so I will break them up for them. Pumpkin, well, mostly pumpkin, because he loves the feather toys, and Maple likes them, but she's not always, like, that play for anymore. She kind of just watches pumpkin play. Um, and obviously, I think he thinks the feathers are like birds. So I've got, like, a really cool flattened bird, and I literally can't wait to put it on and try that with him later. And then I've got some of these treats, because they really like them. So we've got chicken, in liver, and pork. And then chicken, turkey and pork. And they really like them. And then in Home Bargains, I've got them some bloody sticks as well. And Cadbury have these new salted caramel chocolate fingers out. So obviously I had to snap them up to try. Got some Bernard's and cinnamon bars. And then this is where it gets a little bit better, guys. So bear with. Got some Bernard's and Kinder, like, slice things. And then they had Louis Capaldi's pizza on offer in Iceland. So I bought that for Bernard to try. It's like a meat feast one. I have to make sure there's no onions on it. And then they do like obviously branded foods. So those in America, we have like restaurants. Obviously you guys know like TGI Fridays because that's American. Um, we've got like Chiquitos, Frankie and Benny's, Ed's Diner. Um, what else is there? And just like other certain brands. And they come and Iceland bring out like branded food. So I'm going to try. Woo! Chiquito's burrito wrap because I've never had a burrito. I had one and it was a, like it was like a chicken one and I didn't like it at all. But that could have been the place I went to. And then I got Bernard the chicken prawn and chorizo paella because I'm sure he gets this in Chiquito's or has got a paella in Chiquito's before. And then I picked up some firecracker wedges because I actually really like them. Some yogurt, some cheese. And then Bernard really likes the Iceland pepperoni pasta bake, but they don't they no longer have it. So I've got him at the meat feast one instead, and they were two for a fiver. Those other ones were three for ten. So I did kind of splurge a little bit. I spent like 47 quid, which is quite a lot. But we have a lot of stuff here that I can use as well. So and this will cover him for when I'm in Switzerland this coming week. And then TGI Fridays, he loves the um, pulled barbecue pulled pork mac and cheese so I got him two of those because again it was three for ten and then I got him a Cajun chicken pasta with chorizo to try just to switch it up a little bit so I know they're not like it's not super healthy because they're all kind of like frozen artificial preservatives but we're not going to obviously have them all this week and we'll spread it out but yeah I just want to show you guys what I've got because I've picked up some cool stuff this week I'm going to get ready and film some content um, and then Bernard's out at the moment he's going physio i think he's got barbers then he's going to his nephew's football and then his nephew's coming around to play um so they can do gaming and stuff together so i want to get all of that done before he's here obviously um so yeah i will catch up with you guys a bit later good evening guys so i haven't vlogged since this morning but i'm gonna update you guys on a few bits in a sec but i want to well not in a sec after i've eaten my dinner but i wanted to show you what i got for dinner because it was naughty Ta-da! 
The babies have been hiding. Oh, hello. You wanna go out now? Big stretch. Ooh, big stretch. Um, well, I might as well show you now. So as you guys can see, I've painted this fence and I've also painted that fence. I have literally been so bored, it's unreal. The boyfriend had his nephew round, so the babies were hiding because they don't like kids and his nephew's really loud. So yeah, they've sort of been hiding and sleeping. I tried to play with a new toy, but obviously they weren't really interested because they were scared because his nephew was here. Um, so I'm gonna play with them a bit later anyway. So yeah, I painted the fences and I just popped out, got my parcel from Asda, which I'll show you. And then um, I got my mum some flowers as well because I told her I bought a hardy fuchsia from Home Bargains for 2 dollars Sorry guys, I'm trying to... Um, and she wanted me to get some, but Home Bargains is sort of on the way, well, it is on the way to Asda. So I stopped there for, I got a four of them and then I picked up a couple bits, but I wanted to show you guys obviously what I got in Asda because... <laughs> You guys aren't gonna be surprised. So yeah, I'm gonna eat, watch the babies in the garden and I will pick up the vlog and ramble on a bit more. Right guys, finished my dinner. It was lovely, not that anyone cares. So the first thing I bought was cat grass and I don't know how it works, but I'm gonna have a go because it looks fun. And then I got this in preparation for when the weather gets hot, a medium pet cooling bed. So I thought hopefully they can both fit on it. They did, did have a large one, but I didn't want to risk it. Um, so yeah, that was 4 99 and I think the cat grass was like two pound. But obviously, because my babies go out in the garden, pumpkin loves to eat the grass. It's mostly pumpkin. Oh, feels nice. Right, so basically the babies have ripped one of my expensive beddings. Um, so I picked up the sunflower one from, I think, I think it was 15 pounds. No need to iron, quick drying fabric. Yeah, because we don't want to iron. So I can't wait to put that on. I'm going to wash that and put that on tomorrow, actually. And then I got the matching bath towel. Well, it's actually a bath sheet. I got like as big as possible because I'm a big girl, you know. And then I managed to get my hands on the hand towel. So that will go nicely in there. So at least I can wash all of these together, actually, because guys, let me know, do you wash your bedding and your towels before you use them? Because I do, even if they're like hand towels and stuff. And like, I don't think my boyfriend probably would, you know, if it weren't for me. Like, how could you pick this up off the shop, shop floor and just put it on your bed? Like, all the dirt and people have touched it and stuff like that. No. So hopefully that'll look nice in my room because it's quite neutral. Yeah, so the, I think the bedding was 15 pounds. The big bath sheet was 11. And the hand towel's like five or maybe. I am obviously waiting for the bath mat and then that will be my collection complete. That is everything I have to update you guys on. I didn't do anything else, literally. Tomorrow, I don't even know what I'm doing tomorrow. I need to, I need to have a think. I can't think right now while I'm doing all of this. So yeah, I'm gonna sort the cat grass out. I'm gonna wash that, play with the babies. I need to have a shower. Um, and yeah, oh, I did actually edit a lot of videos and reels and I need to edit my Fashion Nova video so I can get that up for Wednesday. And I've got a really exciting parcel coming on Monday, which is from Lee Fit. So I'm gonna do a proper separate video on that, but I will show you guys the pieces in this vlog because I will, pro oh no, this one will go up before that one goes up. Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. This is the custom vlog, look at the shape of Hi guys. I'm watering my plants so they don't die. Uh, you How do you flip the screen? Are you gonna um, water our relationship so that don't die as well? I don't know if there's any that. To get a bit of fertiliser or something on it, aren't we? Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Good morning guys. Never mind what I look like. This vlog is gonna be very mishmash again because I'm just vlogging as and when. Um, but I just wanna show you guys a few of my little purchases that came. So I picked up this little security camera because I did pick up a Eufy one, but it's not connecting where I need it to connect because the Wi-Fi signal is not strong and I can't directly connect it to my TP-Link plug. So then my dad had an idea about like, does 
I think he said, does TP Link have any cameras? Or he found one anyway. So I'm just gonna hopefully set this up soon and see if it connects and works and then I can put that up. And then also, you guys know I bought a black and a green bodysuit from Amazon a while ago that is like the Skims dupes. Well, I've been waiting for them to bring some more colours in stock. They actually have a lot of colours, but they're not in stock or they weren't in stock in my size. But they had the pink one in stock and I wasn't sure what colour it would be. But this is gorgeous. It's called Rose Red, but this is like kind of like a nearly neon pink. My kind of colour. Absolutely love it. Um, I kind of want to just like get loads of the bodysuits and just have like a colour for like, every colour. So that was £20. Um, I am having my sort of plant pot tea stand thing delivered. So when that comes today, I will set that up in the garden. I can finally put my cat statues out there, put my solar lights on there. And also um, I do need to plant my remaining three fuchsias in the plant pot. So I will be doing that on the weekend. It's the coronation weekend. So we've got Saturday, Sunday and Monday off work. So I will vlog that and then hopefully have a whole mishmash of content for you guys. Um, so yeah, I will vlog that when it comes. I need to go wash my face, do my hair, get dressed um, and start work. Okay, so my little metal thing has been delivered and I've just put it together. So you basically just can join these three things and then you screw it into the side. So we're going to put it outside and then I'll sort of time lapse me putting the decks up i think but obviously i've still got plant pot skull on there so i don't know how i'm gonna have it styled yet but we'll put it out see what it's like guys i'm not a garden person just purely for the insects and the spiders and i was just seeing if my plant pots will fit on that but they won't and i picked out this like little pot from inside this big pot and I went to put it back and there's a huge spider in there. Look. Look at that. Oh, it's nasty. But yeah, this is where I was gonna put this. But I'm not really sure. I don't want them to smash, so I'm thinking should they go on the bottom? It's looking a bit bare, guys, because I'm going to need to put some more stuff on that. Good morning, guys. It's Sunday today. So I'm off to meet my mum and my sister at Tunbridge Wells. Um, there's like kind of like a big retail park that I've been to twice before. Um, they're kind of like scattered over, but yeah, we're going to meet there. I will show you my little outfit. I'll put you there. So this is the dress that I picked up like a couple weeks ago from Asda. That is the maternity range, but... It's still so cute. And I knew my mum would absolutely love it because she also, her favorite color is actually green, but she loves green. She loves like leopard cheetah print. So I knew she would love it. So I ordered her one as like a little thank you for helping me with the garden. And I also bought her like a nice little leopard jumpsuit. It's very like dark and gloomy out, but it is supposed to be dry all day and it's supposed to be up to 21 degrees. So that's why I'm dressed like this. Babies have been outside, but they're meowing to go out. Bernard is gaming. I do need to leave in a second because it takes 40 minutes to get there, so. I am back from shopping. It's four o'clock. I left at nine. Um, I just wanted to show you a few, well, like, literally like two bits that I picked up. Guys, I finally got some vacs cleaner so I can clean my bloody carpets again. And then my mum picked me up this, obviously, because it's got sunflower, sunflower fields. Um, it's obviously for my diffuser stuff. I've got some bag clips because I have like these catkin ones for their food. And I was thinking if they break or I don't know, I lose one, then I've got some clips. So that was quite good. They were from B&M. Doritos, because they're the best. And then this smells so nice. It's pink tulips and white jasmine. Also, I tried these sticky toffee pancakes from Marks and Spencer's and Oh, it does have the sauce, salted caramel fudge pieces, date paste, and a hint of cinnamon. To be fair, they don't really taste like much. Anyway, so we go get my big item. I got a new suitcase. It's like a metallic shiny green. Now, I don't particularly need a new one, but my other one I've had since 2014 when I first went to New York. I don't really want to get rid of it, so I'm going to store it in the garage anyway for now. But 
when I have it, you know when you have it like this, move back, and you move it along, my purple one is like impossible to move along, and when we used Bernard's new one for Poland, it was like life changing. So yeah, that was from TK Maxx, it is from June, or Dune, however you want to say it, D-U-N-E, and it was £90, but I had a £50 voucher, and then my mum, I gave my mum an extra Marks and Spencers voucher that was 25 so then she did that, so it was only like £18 I technically had to sort of pay for it. So I thought that was quite good, so yeah, and then I got some clothing items, which I will show you guys, I've got some cat litter, my other items upstairs, because I need to try on the dress, but I'll do that now, and then I'm going to basically plant my flowers, maybe paint the fences if it's still going to stay dry, I need to see what the weather situation is going to be. Um, but yeah, that's the current plan. I also managed to get Sprout a real good bargain on a guest suitcase that was like one of the little cabin ones. It was £80 in the sale to 58 but it had kind of marks on it. As so I said to the manager, oh, are you able to discount it anymore for us? And um, she was like, oh, like, it's already discounted quite a bit. I said, oh, like, not even 10% or anything. I want to gift it to my other sister. Don't have another sister. And she was like, oh, um, I can do, do it down to 50. I said, yeah, that's fine. Like, that's like eight pounds off. 10% is only five pound 80. Um, and then she's like, oh, we'll just do it. We'll just minus 10 pound off because it's easier. So I got it for 48 in the end. So <laughs> that was a bargain. If you don't ask guys, you don't get. The first item I got is from New Look. Now, this is probably like a little tight, obviously, but they were selling out fast. They're sold out online. So yeah, I could have done one of the size up, but... I still think it's okay because I'm still gonna have to put top underneath anyways. These are supposed to be done up like separate, but I just did it up together for the fun of it because it's just easier. And then it has a little hook, it is black and white, but it's like a cute little pet from top, and that was £30, which is quite expensive. But I think I got 20% off, I think. I just took it off and forgot to vlog. But my mum picked me up this cute dress from Matalan. What size does she get me? Oh, a 16. So it's got a sheer and elastic at the top and then like just nice elasticated sleeves and it's just like a really nice midi dress and that was 20 as I said. And then I need some like plain normal tops. So I picked this one up, which was 13 pounds. And then um, obviously I got a discount. But going to size 18 because I did, I tried on 20 and 18 just for sizing. Um, but I just stuck with the 18. It's just like a casual cute top with frills. But I just kind of wanted like some plain casual tops that I can pair with things and just like tuck them into stuff. And then the only other thing I got was a nice lime green hand towel for the kitchen. That was four pounds and that was it, guy. I didn't want to spend loads of money anyway, so that's kind of good. So yeah, now, like I said, I'm going to go do some gardening and paint the fences. Good morning, guys. So... I have a few parcels coming today, so I thought I'd show you guys what I've picked up. Starting off with this one that came not too long ago. Um, my mum loves diffusers, candles, air fresheners. She just loves anything that gives off a smell. So I love my diffuser that I got for my birthday from Bernard's family. And I thought my mum would really appreciate one because obviously I don't feel like candles smell forever and sometimes diffusers you can't really smell that much but the electric diffusers you can. So I've ordered her ooh, a really nice one from Made by Zen. Now it was a little bit pricey but I did get 10%, 10 pounds off I think. So I think they're originally like 64 and I got it for 54. Ooh. But the reason why I went for this one is because it's pretty and it will match the diffuser pots that we got in Wales last year. So this is what I got her. I'm obviously not going to take it out of packaging, but it's a nice like, it gives like a really sh light rainbow holographic vibe in the light. Yeah, it's just an electric diffuser, which I think she's going to love. Oh. Whee! Right guys, I'm back. So, this is from the skincare brand Illumia MD. So I get this obviously through my, what do you call them, like estheticians? You know, cause I'm having the skin treatment done. Well, obviously now I kind of finished that, but little update guys. So all I'm kind of left, that was a spot by the way, but all I'm kind of left with is a little bit, I had a spot on my mole 
out of all places. I get an odd spot there every now and again and it just makes me look like a giant mole. Um, but yeah, anything that you can kind of see is literally just scarring apart from obviously this spot on my mole and the spot there. I'm kind of working on, I know this, this camera has the smooth filter thingy on, but obviously you can still see my skin for it anyway. But yeah, so anything is left is kind of like scarring, which I never actually used to scar growing up. My skin was pretty good like that. Um, but I'm just glad it's not like pitted scarring or I think they call it like box scarring, things like that. So it should be hopefully easy to get rid of over time. But anyway, so she finally signed me up to the website. So basically I can just go on there and buy whatever I want. The only problem is at the moment I'm having like really dry skin since Switzerland. Really like dry patch here, but it's like all dry under my eyes. Like it's not normal for me. I get dry skin, but I only get it like here and like into my eyebrows. Yeah, I don't really get dry skin. It's literally just like my eyebrow area and sometimes my nose, I think. But it's really bad at the moment. So I ordered a new moisturizer. This was before I actually had the bad skin. They are obviously pricey, but my cleanser, for example, was like £34.50. But that will last me about four months. So when you think about it, it's like less than £10 a month, which is pretty cheap because I would rather buy a product that... God, this is quite small. I would rather buy a product that is expensive, lasts long, but is doing the job and like you get more bang for your buck kind of thing. So yeah, and I do want to get the enzyme pill on there because I just love a face mask and a pill. But yeah, so I picked up a different moisturiser this time, which was only like £3 more. But I actually think you get less in it, which is a bit of a con. So I picked up this one, which is the Hydra Clarity. And this is for oily and blemish prone skin, whereas I do have the Hydra Smooth, I believe. Um, so if you do want to get these products and try them out, because basically these are classed as more professional products that you would buy from like a dermatologist kind of thing, because they have a stronger pot pot how do you say it? potent of ingredients, like the salicy salicylic acid would be more stronger in these than like your drugstore, high street type product. Yeah, so that's what I got, but this actually looks really small. I'm going to have a look actually and see how much uh fluid i get in the other one because that's small i stand corrected guys it's the same amount but i think she told me that they were oh they have oh she told me they were changing the products because the pumps on the other ones like i've broken all my products that i've got from them apart from the cleanser they are just so flimsy and that's what i don't like like i'm paying a lot of money why are your products cheap feeling um, so they basically created a new pump that allows the right amount of product to come out um, because they were really struggling with that on the other moisturiser that I've got. But she said they nailed it now. Moisturisers don't last me as long because I do like quite a bit of moisturiser on because I like my skin to feel moisturised. I'm currently on my break and I've been looking at vintage, vintage dresses. So I'm thinking I'm going to make a couple orders because I'm really into that at the moment. I think I was recommended a TikTok on my FYP for the Pretty Dress Company. They're quite expensive. So I've been looking at other sites and I've been looking at like lots of vintage hair tutorials, like makeup tutorials. It's like my little phase at the moment. But my mum's side of the family, they are rockabillies. They love jiving. They love rock and roll. Like I've always been around that kind of music you know, them dancing, um, their outfits, their hairstyles, like my mum's whole side, like my aunt, my cousins, they all love it. And my aunt has some really weird and wacky outfits, but she looks so good in them. And she has some unusual bags, like the weirdest bags I've ever seen in my life. But yeah, I'm gonna make an order. And I think I'll just do it in like a separate video for this channel because I don't really feel like it's worth putting on my main channel. I don't think there'll be much interest in that. That's kind of really what I'm doing at the moment on my break. Online shopping, not that I can afford anything, so that's great. Um, I don't know if my bag is gonna come today from Zara, which I'm quite annoyed about because it's coming from Yodel, but it's at the depot, but I thought they would have like, around 11 o'clock, they normally like, um, pick up their parcels so yeah we'll see um if it comes tomorrow that's annoying because i'll be at work and my neighbor will have to take it in and i don't want them to get pissed off with me by taking in my parcels all the time okay guys never mind the state of me so i'm gonna end up the vlog here because i was editing it and i realized that i have quite a bit of footage so i'm just gonna start a fresh vlog for this week coming that will hopefully go up next week but i don't know how much i'll have to vlog um but yeah we've just been to the tip got rid of some garden stuff so finally getting the garden more cleaner and tidier 
so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys Thank you.